Welcome to St Mary Redcliffe Church in the heart of Bristol. My name is Dan Tyndall, the vicar of the parish. And I just want to give you a bit of an update as to how we're progressing with the facilities development project that we've been working on for the last uh, four years or so. About two and a half years ago, we appointed the Purcell as our architectural team. And we've been working with them over the last two years, looking at how we might enhance the facilities we have here because although we have this amazing 14th century grade one listed building, we have no space available to us to uh, display the amazing artifacts and historic assets that we have. So in this video, I want to show you some of those spaces that we want to open up, uh, show some of the views that we want to open up and to help explain why we think this is an important project for St Mary Redcliffe and one that will enhance the whole uh, of the city as it grows its visitor economy. As well as working with Purcell on the facilities development, Purcell being our architect team, we've engaged with a number of other consultants, including uh, Rita McLean from Birmingham, who used to run the Museum and Art Galleries for Birmingham City. She has undertaken our heritage asset review. And one of the things that she has told us about, which is of huge significance to us, is this armoire behind us. It's a 14th century cupboard, which is used for storing vestments. We've also got a huge, uh, con uh, we've also got a huge um, collection of very significant vestments made by Mrs. Fry here in Bristol. Uh, Bristol Cathedral has a similar collection from her, and we can't display those either. But back to the armoire, it's 14th century. We know that because we've had a dendrochronology survey undertaken on the wood. And we also know, because of Rita's work for us, is that it's one of the largest uh, of its style probably in Europe. This armoire, this cupboard has been down here for, uh, well, we're not quite sure how long, but the only people that have got to see this armoire in recent years is the choir, the servers, and other people who come down to this room to, uh, to robe and to rehearse for our acts of worship up in church. This is one of the things we want to make more accessible and more available to our visiting public. So here we are underneath the north transept of St Mary Redcliffe Church. Uh, this is original uh, 14th, 15th century stonework with a vaulted ceiling that uh, is, is just magnificent to see and to experience. It's also a magnificent space to sing in, which is why our choirs have been rehearsing down here for decades. But as part of this facilities development, we want to open this space up so that visitors can experience this uh, amazing treasury. We think it was built originally to be a treasury, and so we're moving forward in that idea that it should become a treasury again, a space in which to not just show off this amazing space in its own right, but also to display our artifacts, our silverware, our vestments, and to give people a really good understanding of the history of St Mary Redcliffe and its links with the maritime nature of this city. We are aware that this will mean uh, displacing the choir from here, and so our plans do include, uh, just outside over there, uh, a new building which will be a new home for the choir, a purpose-built choir school for our uh, fabulous tradition of choral music here that we intend to keep and enhance as we develop further the mission of the church here at St Mary Redcliffe. At one end of the choir vestry, there is a door leading to a set of stairs that we also would like to open up. This is a, a stairway that we never use. It takes us directly into the north nave aisle. Wouldn't it be great if we could get a staircase that hadn't been used in decades opened up for public use? Our facilities development project really started way back in 2008 when a survey of what we have and what we need really revealed one of our critical points. This is our toilets are down a flight of steps. Down that flight of steps, we do have a male and a female toilets and even a disabled toilet. 
but toilets down a flight of steps, and especially a disabled toilet down a flight of steps, is really not appropriate in the 21st century. So that was one of the key drivers for this whole major development project. If the development project goes ahead, it will see this area completely remodelled. The new toilets will be level access. There will be a lift around here, which will bring people from street level up to the level of the brown door over there, which is the entrance to the choir vestry, which will become the treasury. And then up again to this level that will take us around the north porch and up a ramp up to the outside of the west door. And then up again, into a, a new entrance which will be placed into the, the, the side of the church, not breaking the, any of the windows or even the, the sills beneath the windows, but making a clear entrance point into the north north aisle uh, where we can uh, break through in a way that is least damaging to the, the fabric of this most ancient monument. These are critical parts of the church and this will enhance this area of the, the whole church uh, place, because at the moment it's really quite a, it's an unpleasant area and it, it is, it, we could make much, much better use of it, as well as that basic function of providing toilets on level access. So this is the north porch and north terrace of the church, which substantially we're not thinking of changing too much at all. Uh, we're going to put a, a new entrance point to the west, uh, which will link directly into Redcliffe Wharf, which we know is going to be redeveloped. And we're thinking of a new entrance point up here, just to the front of the church, facing onto the new development on Redcliffe Way, which we're also fairly convinced is going to get developed in the next few years as well. That will give an entrance into a cafe and a shop, and then towards the lift in this area of the church over here, which is adjoining the new treasury in the current choir vestry. I hope that's given you an understanding of what we're trying to do. We do realise this is a, a massive undertaking and we're taking the, the work very, very seriously indeed. We, we have some extremely good, competent, professional advisors surrounding us as we seek to develop this whole project. Uh, but I hope we've given you a bit of an insight with this video of to what our aims are in terms of uncovering some of the areas that we don't normally see, that we aren't able to see, to show how we can display some of our artefacts so much more uh, clearly, so much more, um, uh, so much more expressively for our visitors, and to provide ourselves as a Christian community with the facilities that we need, so that we can continue to be a thriving Christian community, a welcoming heritage destination, and a church that makes a difference in its parish. Thank you very much for watching.